Hey everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. So today we're going to be doing the colossal title from Titan from Attack on Titan. So it's Bertrand's version. So I'm on a landscape orientation page. Use a pencil and an eraser and hit pause or slow down the video if I go too fast. So center point of my page, approximately here. I'd say that's where his nose is gonna be. So we just come up and over to the right hand side a little bit. And we're going to start with his right eye. So they're real small, tiny little eyes, right? And they kind of look like um, grains of rice. That's the kind of shape or like, like a rugby ball or an American football. So we go up and down like that first. So then that bottom line will go down around underneath like so. And then inside here we have his, he's got, he kind of has a real small sort of iris. So it just comes down around into there. And then a small sort of pupil in there as well. Okay. So his other eye over the other side. So we, you can probably, his eyes are really far apart. So you could probably fit, I'd say two eyes in between. So whatever the width of your eye is, one, two, and then that's where the next one starts. Approximately, it doesn't have to be exactly two, but you're just, you're more than like a single eye jump across, just in between here. And then the bottom eyelid, that same shape again, look like so. And then iris and pupil, so again, we do small iris coming around like so and pupil in the center there so he's got like this casing sort of around his eye right and his nose comes right down the middle so yeah i guess we'll do the nose first it's an easier place to start so we go down and it's kind of a bumpy nose right so we go diagonal just down like this and then it kind of bumps around like so. And we're kind of similar on each side, just these bumps go down like this. And then it's real wide on the very bottom section. So it's like, like his, his nostrils of his nose. And then this comes and around to here. It's like the top of his nose comes around, back around to there. And he could have some lines coming up his nose here, just along the side, on the bridge of his nose, like so. So then at the top of his nose, we've got this frown line, right? So it comes right across his eye, so it's gonna go across like this. This is part of the sort of skull-like area. So this comes out and across, down, to there. And then it wraps around underneath, back into the nose. And then inside here we have a darker section, so we've got a sort of dark sort of eye section that comes around here, down to there. And this can have um, sort of muscle sort of lines on it, just in there kind of texture lines. Then we do pretty much the same thing on the other side. Just go up and around this way. Like so, and then it joins back down here. And then around and 
something there. And then we have that dark sort of section again, coming up around his eye. Into here, and this can be like muscle sort of lines just there. And then, so this can have frown lines going up around his skull. So this is like bone, in here is muscle. At least that's what it looks like to me anyway. Right, so then we've got um I guess we'll go down we'll go down and do his mouth, right? So we've got like this upper lip area, right? So just below his nose. So we'll bring it across here. And then it kind of comes down like this. Down the side there, like so. And then his bottom lip area just here, more curvy. Comes around like that. So then inside here he's got like loads of teeth, right? So you could just start kind of in the middle. two layers, so we just like bump. And they're like really small teeth. Like this, and then go across the other side. Like so. So real small, and something similar along the bottom, so. Whatever you can fit. And these like lines just. that so then so we'll try and get in the main structure for his, his head and then we'll add some more bones and things around and more teeth and stuff like that so I guess his chin real big real big chin sort of down here okay So, and you can check proportions of things now, eyes to nose, he's not really in proportion. So I would say eyes to top lip there is about the same as top lip to chin. Okay, so just the top lip here is about halfway between the eyes and the chin. So here to here, about the same as here to here. And then nose to bottom lip is about the same as bottom lip to chin. Here to here, about the same as here to here, approximately. So then around here, so we've got like another bottom lip line. So it like comes around like so, just there. And then this comes out and then comes down. It's like, this is like a bony like area coming up to his jaw, just there. We do the same thing on this side. And then goes up to his jaw. So this is like, This is like flesh inside here and it's got like spikes coming down. Like so, and then this'll have sort of 
muscle lines and stuff. All coming down there. And he might have some like lip lines. So now above his mouth, right? So we've got like another, it's like his lips are being pulled apart or something like being pulled up. So we go diagonal up into there, back down, up, down, back into the side of his mouth. Like so. And then this has some lines inside. that and then more lines inside here so then another bone coming out from the corner of his nose right so it comes out and goes up this way goes up into his eye socket just in there pretty much the same thing on this side out from the corner of his nose up into his eye socket just there And just that, I think he has some eyelids, I'm not sure. So I'm just, I'm gonna add an eyelid. Just a light sort of eyelid here. But I'm not really sure. But then we will go down his face, more sort of cheek lines, muscle, flesh coming down this way, like so. Right, so then his jaw, so we go up the side of his head, goes in like that, and then it kind of goes in a little bit, and then it'll go out like this, and up around to the side of his head. We do the same thing on this side, in and then we will bring it out around the side of his head and up into here and then we'll finish off those bones that are inside his face so inside here so we got like bony section there goes up around here and then this comes up into there and then back down like so so this section then in here as well so like it comes down like this it comes around up side of his face So, and then you can have some like texture lines every now and then on this bony part. Right, and then we got like more teeth, so his teeth like come right out across from here so we gotta do like another sort of so we go we'll go with the middle line so it's like middle line just there and then that way and then we got like more teeth real small His face like that. You do the same thing on the other side. 
just these sort of bumping lines around like so and then we go around the other side kind of like that and then we got um, some more muscle lines and stuff for the side of his face. You know, more flesh and lines just coming up and down. Just flattening his eyebrow here a bit. And back to, back to this. Right. Okay. Not bad. We're getting there. So now his big skull up around his head. Right. So let's go. So we'll go up like so. Right. Like so on the other side. And then this goes up around. If you're wondering how high up you want to go, I'd say eyes to the top of his head is about the same as eyes to his mouth there, see that? This is about the same here to here, is about the same as here to here, to like maybe his bottom lip area, right? So this eye line is about halfway between the top of his head and his bottom lip, just there. Just if you're worried about proportions. And let me bring it up. He's not really in standard human proportion. The top of his head's real small. You got like just this gap in the skull on the side of his head. Up to there. And again, he's got like muscle lines and things in there. Like that. And then we've got like these lines for his skull coming down. So, like that. Okay, so then, so neck, down from his jaw. So, and then same on the other side. Then we got an interior, sort of bone-like area, just here. And then another one here. Like that, and then this will have sort of muscles, lines going up. So, so then his trapezius comes down from his neck, really wide, crazy wide. Coming down from his jaw again. Like that. So then his collarbones. So let's see. So like we've got like a bump here for the end of his collarbone, right? He's really, really, really wide shoulders, right? So the collarbone goes back just down into here somewhere. So let's go let just go out here. That's sort of bumpy, and then this will go. Out like that as well. 
and because it's kind of a bone like section there's like another another line to it so the shoulder kind of comes in here and then this will come up like and it gets real skinny just down to there same thing on this side pretty much like that kind of thing so then his shoulder goes this way so he goes out real wide down like so pretty much the same thing on the other side so really wide out here Look like that so crazy wide shoulders and then he's got like these sort of lines in the middle of his chest. This kind of thing, kind of a, a diamond sort of. This. And this is like, so this is like bone, a bone sort of area. And then his chest comes down that way. So then like his chest muscles go across to his shoulder at, at a certain point. So like that's his chest going down that way. And then let's see like maybe just here. So yeah, we'll put it here. shoulder sort of area and then here as well okay and then so like this is where the chest muscle so meets his arm right so this goes up so all these muscle lines right going across this way so, so like same thing here kind of Got like a muscle line coming up here, going that way, and like all muscle fiber going down here. Okay, and then go up that way, and then like chest muscle line, so that goes in to his chest, and then down and around like here. He got real skinny arms or is that just the side of his body i don't know i'm not sure so because i don't know i'll just add it in so his chest muscles coming across and down and then down that way there's a bit of a shadow like or something just down here So, more across there, more, so lots of uh, muscle fibers and stuff coming across, like a shadow here as well. And then some muscle fiber lines on his trapezius. Hmm, but we're nearly there now. So chest muscle lines, shoulder muscle lines, you know, because he's he's all muscle really. Real wide shoulders. 
that's the main thing to remember. His shoulders are like, like you could fit like two of his heads, the width of his heads across. Uh, oh, his ears. We forgot his ears. <laughs> so just up here, ears. Going down like so. Another one. Try and keep them in line, I guess. That'd be a good idea. Down to there. And inside we got bones and ligaments inside his ear. Easiest way is always the letter J. But if you want to add more detail, you can. More lines coming around. Inside like that. Um, but I think I'm going to have to leave it there. So that is how to draw the Colossal Titan, Bertrand's Colossal Titan. I will do Armin's one at some point. Um, but it's hard to find a good image of Armin's one, um, you know, because we've only it's only been sort of presented in the anime, so we haven't sort of gotten some good images. It's just they're all from like below, you know, you can't really see his face that much, that well. So I guess I gotta wait until some better images come out of that one. But there's Bertrand. Hope was helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.